a portrait of the English singer Adele in fish and chips and ketchup. Welsh singer Tom Jones created using old cassette tapes. And ex-Spice Girl Mel C, all in glitter. Welsh artist Nathan Wyburn has given pop art a 21st century revival. Pop art to me, I guess, is just about uh, popular culture, things that are happening in the media right now, um, things with celebrities or celebrity scandals, or it could be the death of a celebrity. Um, kind of in a very Andy Warholian way, I guess I kind of document things as they're happening. The artist works with unusual things like chocolate and ketchup. He used makeup for his portrait of the late British singer David Bowie in character as Ziggy Stardust. When selecting the material to make the portrait of the celebrity out of, it usually has some sort of relation to them, whether it's something they're comically known for, or a stereotype, or something as simple as their surname. So it could be Keith Lemon made with lemon. Uh, it could be something like Donald Trump with Mexican food because of the humour and the irony of it. So it, the relation is always there, whether it's uh, comical or conceptual. The material is not the only unusual aspect of Wyburn's works. He used his feet to create his portrait of soccer star Cristiano Ronaldo and his tongue to paint the singer Miley Cyrus. A Justin Bieber song inspired him to use lipstick to depict the teen heartthrob. Baby, if you like the way you look that The YouTube video of how the portrait was created has attracted millions of clicks. I just thought It'd be quite cool because his song called Love Yourself was really big at the time. Valentine's Day was coming up and he's got a lot of big, um, huge, mostly female fans. So I thought it'd be quite cool just to give them something that they could look at and think, oh, I wish I did that or I wish I could own that. So I thought I'd make a portrait of Justin Bieber using kisses. Nathan Wyburn studied art in Cardiff. He's always been fascinated by Welsh culture and has made portraits of poet Dylan Thomas and singer Shirley Bassey, who was born in Cardiff. But he's interested in the role of celebrity in today's consumer society as a whole and the universality of art. I quite like the fact that my artwork speaks to everybody. Um, you could either see it as this huge concept where I'm using these commercial products to relate to celebrities and commercialization and loads of different sort of Andy Warhol-like theories like that. Um, and I've displayed in things like galleries and museums, but I've also exhibited in restaurants and corner pubs uh, in the street, um, absolutely anywhere. Like at the Educational Science Center in Cardiff, He used over 4,500 Smarties to make a huge portrait of the Nobel Prize winning physicist Albert Einstein, a great success with visitors. We get people stopping on the stairs midway up and going, look at that, isn't it amazing? Um, it's been really, really well received, um, not just by the staff, uh, but by all the visitors. They can tell exactly who it is straight away, and then when they get closer,